Right guys, simple video for me to film this is because I'm super familiar with this car. This is my Golf R, the 600 brake, the one that Arthur, the old man, the 75 year old man had. And finally, after I think two or three years, uh, I've got this car back on my channel driving again. Like, over the last 12 months, we've done a few, a series of videos where I bought it after it had been in a pretty bad accident and we've had it rebuilt. We've about put a new engine in it, all that sort of stuff. Go and check out the video to get up to scratch with what's going on. But currently, I am daily driving this car at long last, uh, but sensibly. I've been advised that I must drive it sensibly. Can't get in any racing. No wide open throttle in the no. gears or nothing. Because we've got to bed it in. It's got the new engine, new setup, and we just want to make sure we don't break it again, because that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my first drive of the car, although I have been driving it for a good couple of weeks I would say now show you lot how well it's driving show you lot how amazing it is now and talk to you about the plans with the Golf R Before we get on with the walk around with the car, I just want to quickly uh, let you know what the situation with, is with the bedding in process. So now, I have been advised by Wheelwork VRS to drive it for at least 500 miles sensibly with 50% of the rev range, yeah, which is torture, and 50% throttle, right? So I've not touched that throttle more than 50%, that throttle pedal even more than 50% yet, and I've not gone over 4,000 revs. It's, it's torture, pure torture, uh, but I am going to do draggy times in this car today, and you're probably thinking, Cal, is that sensible? Like, how are you going to do draggy times in this car with only 50% throttle and 50% rev range? That's exactly how I'm going to do it, all right? With 50% throttle, 50% rev range. I don't know why, it's just routine. I want to do it, and I'm curious to see what cars we can beat in a 600 brake golf car with only half the throttle and half the rev range, all right? So, uh, we'll do that later when we go out for a drive, but before we do that, let's do the walk around. <laughs> So here it is then, the world famous uh, Volkswagen Golf R YS64 GKY. It's a seriously special car. It's had crazy, like millions of people have seen this all over the world. It's a wicked car, man. Like to most, from most people's eyes, the people that don't know the backstory of this car, it's just a blue three-door Golf R. But at the time, it was probably the most powerful Golf R on the road and it got loads of attention online. And obviously I ended up buying it. And you know what, at the time when I bought it, it was just, it was a great thing for me, great thing for the channel. And it really gave me that i don't know th that kick I, I don't even want to say kick up the ass because i'm hashtag on it all the time but it was just quite a cool thing to, for me to gel with do content on and uh, the backstory was cool as well obviously with arthur and stuff like that so yeah i love this car man when it went a couple of years back i've then ventured into like doing all the car trade and stuff because you lot are just fascinated by the car trade which i am as well love the car trade i've been doing a lot of showing you cars stock that i've been buying which is absolutely brilliant but when i discovered that i could buy this car back i was so excited man now as you lot know i paid far too much money for it uh, understandably there was a lot of people that wanted to bid bid against me in the auction that day and i paid about i think it's about 15 grand on the dot uh, including my fees somewhere in there there or thereabouts and i'll be honest with you i've spent that again and more uh, on top of that to get it to the condition that it's in today. So it owes me an absolute fortune. I don't know the exact number. I don't really want to go into detail, but that gives you a good idea of how much money I've spent on this car. Now, when I had it originally, I wanted to get Pretoria wheels. I know I've mentioned this a lot. Pretoria wheels, spacers, and lowering springs. But I've never done it because I wanted to leave it as it was, which I've always done, but it's looking so much better now. So the way it stands at the minute is the, like the dream finish for me. Look, It's looking better, it's driving better, and, got Pretorias on it. Now what's mad is the accident didn't actually look too bad like this is a, like the reality of categorized cars it had been hit into this corner here and it had a bit of damage on the rear I don't know any of the story about what's happened I've reached out to the previous owner the guy that I sold it to I can't I'm not even getting a response from him so I don't actually know all of the service history all the paperwork he's got it all or the previous owner I don't even know if he was actually the previous owner I don't know uh, but it's all a mystery but the crazy thing about this little bit of damage is the car actually needed a hell of a lot of work. So we've put a new engine in it now. That's actually the third engine that this car's had. So the engine it came with from factory, uh, that was the original engine. Uh, Arthur actually blew that up one day on a track. So that went in the bin. And then Will at VRS put a new engine in it and that engine got damaged in the accident. So then I then put the third engine, I say I will put the third engine in it and it's now on its third engine. So you can understand that I am 
baby in his car, literally driving it like a granny because I do not want to do it any harm. It's still got the Miltec exhaust system at the back there, which is looking super fresh. We'll just polish the tip, so it's looking lovely. It's absolutely mint, obviously minter than it's ever been because it has had a full respray as well. Big shout out to Darkside Body Shop in Leicester. They've done an incredible job. Like to take this job on and have all these eyes on social media, like body work is not easy to get right. It ain't easy to get it right. And they've done a wonderful job. So a uh, big shout out to them as well. On the inside, um, we've got the Golf R steering wheel. It's all completely stock. There's nothing magical going on in here. We've got the steering wheel there by Control Custom. I went for leather on the outer edge of the steering wheel because I just noticed the Alcantara wears quite quickly. So I've gone for a perforated leather. Obviously that steering wheel was done by Control Custom. Shout out to them with a blue line at 12 o'clock. Now under the bonnet, quickly look under the bonnet super fresh brand new engine cost me a fortune oh by the way the wheels were referred by uh rrt uk big shout out to them i will link them in the description below as well look at them wheels super fresh super mint with a club sport disc behind them as well and we've got michelin ps4s tires are they ps4s's or just ps4s let me just double check that ps4 s cow you are just on it on it so it is wonderful people used to criticize the tires that it had before we've now got michelin's guys all right so under the bonnet again it's a beautiful place to be under the bonnet of this car racing line intake turbo techniques v5 turbo as well which has been reconditioned by turbo techniques and then whilst we're in the engine bay uh, a big big shout out to v hot performance do you know let me spin the camera around quickly v hot performance big shout out to them they reached out and said cow we make parts for golf R's and we've made a uh, an intercooler for a Golf R. We've run them up to 500 brake horsepower on our Golf R's. Do you want one of our in intercoolers? Let's try it on your car, test it, touch it, feel it, see how good it is. And there was no motive there. It was not like, oh, we want loads of promotion. They weren't begging or nothing like that. They just said, look, just take it and we'd be proud to have our part on your car. It's got wheel, wheel VRS's approval. It looks good. And the car is now running with a V-Hot Performance intercooler under the bonnet. So big shout out to them. I will also link them in the description below. Let's continue with the walk around. So the body colour is obviously Lapiz Blue, which you lot know. The previous wheels were Cadiz wheels. I just looked at shots of it before and a few people used to say to me, Cal, you need to put Pretorias on it. And um, I always wanted to keep it looking as original as it always did. But yeah, the Pretorias look amazing. I'll just put the Y64 GKY plates back on it. Big shout out to your car edge, of course, for supplying me them. We have bought um, a fresh, let's just turn them lights off and left them on for the cinematics. We bought a new gear stick as well. That's about the only thing that sort of stands out to me that needs replacing on the interior. I've done a brand new key as well. Um, my friend John done that. I'll put a link for him in the description below as well. Shout out to him. Brand new key, brand new gear knob incoming. It does need to go back to VRS in a couple of weeks' time uh, to get a running in check, a retune, and uh, just a few of these other little bits added, like I say, like the gears, gear knob. And also, we've bought a, a Golf R uh, airbag as well. We literally just stuck that on to get it to the car event. The motive for this car was to get it ready so I could drive to my car show a couple of weeks back. CCZ, the event 22, 2022, and close that door and uh yeah i managed to do it big thanks to will at vrs who worked day and night and him and his boys and they got the car done so i think what we need to do now guys is i need to show you what this car is driving like because honestly it is somehow driving in my opinion i don't know how it's driving better but it is driving better than it's ever driven before i'm going to close that door again because i just want to uh racing line suspension as well did i mention that you can just about see the suspension i think if you come in here at this angle just sort of there can you see it no you can't just about see the springs there they're red core springs in there i'll try and get a shot of that but yeah springs bloody everything this car has cost me a bomb cost me an arm and a leg but you know what it's worth it it is the hero of calvin's car diary by the way we just had a nice little 330d touring arrived there look at that auto um lci car i don't know I'll just <laughs> it just caught my eye 47,000 miles it's done now so it's still a good low mileage car but of course it ain't on the original engine better than any other 47,000 mile Golf R on the road which it is of course a category S car which is a bit annoying but at least we know that this car has been finished to a bloody good standard inside and out and you know what when you're driving this thing down the road most categorized cars there's little things that bug you like, I'm, I'm a nightmare for it I'm, I like things to be perfect yeah um, but with this car there is nothing that bugs me apart from the gear stick which is being replaced little things like that that are getting sorted there is nothing this car is as good as any mint low mileage long categorized car on the planet all right so i think what i need to do is stop banging on throw a camera up in the window start it because i want to show you what it sounds like because i think it sounds bloody incredible a lot of people say i don't like them golf bars they don't sound very good this car sounds 
anti-social, noisy, makes a few pops and bangs, which I didn't used to like, but I strangely really like now. And I'm gonna demonstrate all of that shortly, all right? So we throw a camera in the window, start the engine, and hit the roads. Oh, and also we need to do them draggy times, don't we? Yeah, I know Will will be watching this thinking. Don't worry, Will, I won't, I won't break it, all right? You know what, I love this car, man. I literally love it. Let me just get rid of this paper. And I, sometimes I look at it and I think, I'm not sure some people do look at it. I mentioned it earlier. It is just a three-door Golf R. It ain't got amazing, I think it's just bog standard spec level as well. It hasn't got anything going for it at all. But I remember when I heard that this car was gonna be going up for sale, like it could have got sold to anyone. Anyone could have just bought this car and it would have got forgotten about. It is just a bog standard Golf R with loads of power under the bonnet, yeah? But when I heard it was coming up for sale, I thought, I just wanna grab that car with two hands and do something with it. I want to do a string of content on it, enjoy it, and I don't know, gel with it. And I did, man. I had it for a long time, or a long time for me. I don't know how long I had it for, but maybe a year. I don't know. I, don't know. I had it a long time, and I've proper enjoyed it the whole time I had it. And even the last few days I've been driving it, I I really, really like this car, man. So my plans for what I plan to do with it, I actually don't know, I genuinely don't know. Got no idea. I think I just want to get through the realms of running it in, getting it retuned, obviously doing a few more videos on it, and then decide from there. I don't know if I should even part with it. Like a part of me just feels like I just want to keep hold of it, but it's just pointless. I, I don't know, but one thing I do want to point out with this car, which is an absolute, like, big massive thing for me is without this car i would never have met will at vrs and that for me is a massive thing like dealing with him i deal with him regularly now he does a lot of work on all of my cars as you lot know he's a great guy he's a great mechanic and i suppose one thing i have without a doubt gained from buying this car off of after all them years ago is building that relationship with Will at VRS. So that is absolutely brilliant. So, and obviously without that, you know, there's lots of content there, lots of exciting stuff happening uh, at VRS on the channel. So this, this car has brought me so much joy, man. So uh, yeah, although it has cost me an absolute fortune, it's worth every penny, I think. So what we'll do is we're gonna start the engine, show you what it sounds like, because I'm sure you, sure you already know, but just to remind you lot what it sounds like now. And then we'll fast forward a million hours so it's nice and warm, just for the sake of, you know, Will will be watching. And then we'll give it a rev and show you what it sounds like in race mode up to 4,000 RPM. And I will demonstrate that I am only going up to 4,000 RPM by putting a camera lens on the rev counter, all right? So Will, if you're watching, mate, trust me, I'm doing it. <laughs> this is a nightmare, but I'm doing it, all right? I'll show you what it sounds like. <laughs> So there you go, it sounds, I, like I said, I think it sounds wicked, man. Like some people look at it on the road like, oh, that sounds, I don't know if they look at it in a positive way and say, oh, that sounds all right. But they might look at it and think, man, that sounds terrible. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about the sound of this car in the comments below. I will demonstrate some drive bys as, as well when we go out for a little drive. But I am loving the noise that this thing makes, all right? So let me just bang my seatbelt on. Is there anything else I want to point out whilst I'm sat in this wonderful driver's seat, center armrest, aircon's been recast as well. Uh, steering wheel looks incredible, does need the air Bag though, which I've got in the boot. Nothing left to talk about. Let's hit the roads, show you what it drives like, and uh, do the draggy times, yeah? Now, I think you're gonna be quite surprised, or shocked even, how quick this car is, even with half the rev range and half a throttle pedal, because I've been driving it, right? And there, there are times where you're like, there's a car trying to give it some, or you've got to overtake a car on a dual carriageway, and you've got to press the throttle a little bit. See, see that there, I mean, it's really difficult for you to see how fast the car is through a camera, but um, there's 4K revs. If I stop, if I stop, sound, let's concentrate on the sound as well whilst we do this. Let's undo the window a little bit. Um, listen. Gear changes are bang on. Like that there. By the way, listen, pops and bangs as it drops. I didn't used to like that when I was daily driving this car as my daily driver years ago. I used to think that's a bit of rag, a bit annoying, but now I love it. This car is, like I said earlier, it's antisocial and it needs to sound antisocial in my opinion. So that will be staying. I don't know if there's more there than there used to be, but yeah. Listen, 
to the turbo sport on this car. Like that is a big turbo. Big shout out to Turbo Techniques. There's a lot of companies getting shouted out in this video because this car is incredible because of all of this input that's been provided by all these wonderful companies. Uh, but we are currently on the bumpy road. By the way, the suspension, it drives so nice now, yeah? The suspension is brilliant. Again, another shout out incoming to Racing Line Performance for the suspension. It is driving so good, man. It feels, it feels firm, better than it's ever felt ever before, right? So let's now focus back our minds, our minds even onto the turbo spool, the sound of the turbo spool. Let's listen to this. Listen. Can you hear that? Try and ignore the um, pops and bangs for a little bit for now. 4K rev, stop cow. The turbo's just screaming. It sounds like a jack car. That's literally what it sounds like. So bear in mind, all the time I've been driving this, I've been like, oh, get into 4K revs. I'm like, stop cow, stop. Like I can think of some tempting, tempting situations in life that are pure torturous, is torturous even in words, that I could relate or, or use as a reference to um, how I'm feeling. There's one that's springing to mind, a scenario, but I won't say it because it's probably a bit rude for the channel. But to give you an idea, it's just like dangling a carrot in front of a Bugs Bunny, yeah? It, it's just constantly there. There's constantly a reminder that I've got Will on my shoulder like Cal, no. Can't get in any racing. No wide open throttle. No Cal. So, it, it's tough. I'm not gonna lie, it's very tough. And I, I would say that I'm probably pushing my luck with what I'm currently doing but I'm doing it, man. Yeah, I am doing it, because I feel like it's fine. The reason, by the way, uh, one of the reasons why Will also wants to bed the car in, it's not just the engine, the fact it's got a brand new engine and a brand new intercooler and a brand new turbo and brand new everything else under there. It's also got a brand new clutch, yeah? And a brand new clutch does need bedding in. And before he can tune it, he wants to make sure the clutch is bedded in. But one thing I would say without a doubt, yeah, is this gearbox is bang on point. Like, watch this gear change. Like. Other than sound, you don't even notice that it changes gear. You just feel a different surge of power, uh, but the gear changes are super smooth, super firm, and third click of the day, bang on point, all right? So we're gonna put out of this junction here, Mark III Astra there. I actually had one of them almost as my first car, but I sold it and bought Calibra. Um, look, listen to it. Look at them gear changes. Even that, look at the way the front end just lifts up. Absolutely savage, man. I love it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the window up. Should we do the window up so you got a bit of, you know, a bit of breathing space for you lot? Um, we're gonna hit to uh, cut to the draggy scene section of the video and see how quickly we can do 20 to 70 mile an hour on 50%. Right, ready? Three, two, one. about 30% throttle and we've done <laughs> oh my god the time is actually proper good I think what I'll do let me just do a couple more runs um what car was I driving yesterday no way no no I need to swore then no bloody way Right, so I am back in auto mode now. Uh, obviously, for the draggy times, I was shifting in manual mode just to make sure we didn't go over that 4K mark. Now, uh, I've got a question for you. The car that I had in mind when I was doing the draggy times was the Audi S3, the Sprint Blue Planet of Dreams car that we gave away recently on Planet of Dreams. Um, that car there uh, was 330 brake horsepower. Obviously, stage two tune, great car. Uh, what car do you think is quicker? This, or that even, or this with half a throttle pedal and half the rev range, yeah? I've got another card to compare it to. This or a BMW 435D. I've done a video on one of them recently. Uh, it was a convertible car. That was a fast car, obviously. It's was 435D, that's a top of the range diesel three or four series car, yeah? What's quicker, this with half throttle pedal or that? Um, and I can tell you guys, <laughs> that this car just absolutely smashed it, man. So it's, it's kind of the best way to demonstrate how fast this car is. This is faster than the Audi S3, the stage two tune car with a full rev range, yeah? 
faster than that. It's also faster than a BMW 435D, which is 310 horsepower, diesel engine, six cylinders, and um, loads of torque. This car's faster than both of them. This, this just done 20 to 70 mile an hour, with all the restrictions, at, in 5.69 seconds. That is an incredible time. So if you look at that on the drag leaderboard, it's beat some pretty amazing cars, man. And that is with, with all this restriction. So as you can imagine, I am massively, mass massively excited about getting this car done, getting it retuned, getting this bedding in process out the bloody way so we can do proper draggy time, see how high up the draggy leaderboard this car comes. I think it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be in the top 10, possibly in the top five, maybe even in the top three, I don't know, but it is a super, super quick car. I am not joking, it is an unbelievably quick car. And even with uh, the way I'm driving it at the minute, it's, it feels it feels rapid, man. Like the boost is so strong. It's got such a strong turbo. Also, it is a meth injected car as well. We've got a brand new meth kit. Um, currently, that doesn't get used because it only comes in under full throttle. So it'll be interesting with the meth, with the retune, and all of that wonderful stuff involved. Uh, how quickly it will do 20 to 70 mile an hour. So obviously, that video will follow after uh, the the running in service and running in check at VRS. So make sure you subscribe to check, check that out. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up, believe us that. Thank you very much for watching. I am so happy to have this car back on my channel. Literally loving it. And as you can see, it is an incredible thing. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're new for a new video every Tuesday currently. It's, it's mayhem trying to get these videos up, but we're managing to do it. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at six o'clock every week without fail. Don't know how long it's gonna be for because I am barely sleeping at the minute, but it's all bloody worth it. And uh, finally, what's the final request? TikTok. If you're on TikTok, give me a follow on TikTok at Calvin's Car Diary. Been doing a bit over there as well. And uh, job done. See you in the next video. Bye.